as climate change makes traditional water forecasting methods less reliable, a new method of measuring snow has been developed in the United States. Aerial surveys are helping water managers take tough decisions across the western states of America to calculate how much water is stored in the snow. Our next report telling you more. Some hundred kilometers west of Denver, these are snow-covered peaks of Colorado's Rocky Mountains. Spring here sways back and forth between the snow season and the runoff season. In recent years, climate change has made traditional water forecasting methods less reliable. Now some water managers are resorting to a new method to calculate how much water is stored in the snow. Over these peaks, airborne snow observatories are flying planes that contain a series of lasers, sensors and cameras to map snow. They also give drought-prone communities more precise forecasts of how much water from melting snow will fill the reservoirs. Snow is our biggest reservoir, but it's not uniformly distributed across the landscape. So we need to know how much snow is out there in order to know how, when it's going to melt and how much is going to end up in the rivers uh, so that we can properly manage our water infrastructure. Mm -hmm. To improve our knowledge and monitoring of the snow mountain snowpacks, uh, we have started Airborne Snow Observatories, or ASO. The Airborne Snow Observatories, or the ASO method, was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. For decades, western states have measured snow through hundreds of remote sensing sites known as snortle stations, which are operated by the Federal Natural Resources Conservation Service. But with rising mercury due to climate change, snow at around 9,000 feet above the sea level is melting earlier than normal and is becoming a less reliable indicator for water managers. Since the snortle stations cannot be moved up much higher, the aerial surveys help measure daily fluctuations. ASO provides the most accurate measurement of the snowpack across an entire watershed of any existing technologies in the world. When we flew ASO in 2019, we were able to get information about the snowpack that we weren't otherwise able to measure because the snowpack was above our traditional measurement stations. And that information allowed us to prepare for a second peak of runoff and accurately lower our reservoirs to capture that water and avoid any flooding impacts downstream. More and more communities are hoping to improve forecasting with aerial snow mapping. It gives precise snow measurements accurate within two inches across an entire river basin. But the new technology has a much higher price tag than local water agencies are used to. Despite the cost, in Colorado, water managers have pursued flights with airborne snow observatories. They say they have seen the technology's benefits across California. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.